Hello guys, now you're watching the live stream of CGTN and I am the reporter Guo Tianqi and here we are at the city of Deyang in southwest China, Sichuan province and right here right now there is a world class conference called the Co World Conference on the Clean Energy Equipment and uh, from different from other expo today I'm not going to take you to the actual expo venue to explore what's the latest in the industry. But today I'm going to take you to a very important manufacturing factory in Southwest China. It's called Dongfang Electric Corporation. And here, because this is also an exhibition hall of that expo. And before we're looking into those actual uh, components, that, that gigantic components of uh, hydropower generator, we can go inside this smart uh, exit hall to find out what uh, the, uh, the super dam is working and how to use the power of water to generate electricity. So let's go and explore it. And here my guest, Mr. Song, is waiting for us. Right here. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Song Weibin. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer of EEC. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, can you show us how the dam, how the generation is working? Okay. Sure. Here is uh, animation of the dam. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. And uh, uh, this is uh, water in inlet, and uh, the, the water. Okay, okay. Further, you can point the water inlet for us. Okay. Uh, the the water level before the unit uh, is dif is different. Uh, before the unit is uh, much higher, and after is uh, much lower, mm -hmm. and uh, so it will form a, a potential potential uh, energy, and uh, after that. So this is in the upper stream of a river yes. area to dam. Yes, this is dam, it's upstream, and uh, this is water inlet. And the water will flow uh, through the push inlet and uh, into the press, uh, press tube. And through the press tube, it will uh, go into the starter place. Oh, okay. Starter so the water pressure is, uh, the, it's because of the difference of the height, so it can produce uh, pressure yes. and the tube. Yes. Uh, the the, the uh, potential energy will transform to the uh, kinetic energy. Oh, I see. Oh, we are going the, inside yes, the pressure tube. Yes, this is pressure tube, and this is a spiral case, and and this is the stay uh, stay uh, stay serving stay ah. ring, yes. The water goes through the stay vein and uh, the uh, guide vein. Okay. Which is the part of the distributor, and uh, it can control the volume of the water. Yes. Guide uh, vane. Yes, the guide vane can uh, adjust the the flow. Yeah. And inside is that a turbine? Yes, this is this is a runner. This is oh. a runner, and uh, the staving and the guide vane will uh, form a, a water circulation, and and the water will go into the, the runner and make the runner rotate. Ah. Oh. And then to make the generator spin. Yes. Oh. Yes, and uh, the runner is connected with the uh, uh, main shaft of uh, a turbine and the generator, uh, which will make make the uh, the whole uh, axis uh, oh. uh, spin. Okay. So the water is coming from this side to this side, right? Yes. Or that's what. Uh, the from here. From the last section oh. to the. A, a small uh, section and uh, will form a water circulation. How much power does this volume of the water have? Power? You mean? Yes, how strong is the water? How strong? Or uh, maybe uh, uh, the highest uh, of uh, the highest uh, of the EC, maybe like uh, uh, eight, 800 meters. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's because they are adding pressure inside the tube, so it can be such powerful. No, 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 no. Just, just uh, because uh, the high the high difference. Oh. 
And so upper the, is the generator. generator yes, this is the rotor and the rotor is spinning. And uh, this is the this is the rotor. This is the rotor and this is the stator. Uh, and the, the stator is part of the stator, right? It's the the section of the stator. Uh, and uh, the uh, the runner will uh, the, the rotor will uh, uh, cut the uh, uh, mag magnet line of uh, mm -hmm. uh, of, uh, of the, the stator, stator and yes. uh, will generate electric. Oh. How does those electricity be uh, pumped out of this generation? Uh, by right? the uh, okay. where is the where is that part that can uh, transform uh, electricity? Uh, it's not showing this. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, this is uh, the principle of uh, at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, I know uh, there is a very cool mm -hmm. uh, screen right there that is simulating the Kojo Ba. Yes, then yes. The actual data is um, showing here in this screen. Can you introduce it for us a little bit? Oh, yes. So this is the this is the simultaneous um, <coughs> platform of the Godoba, right? Yes. Uh, Godoba is uh, uh, the diameter of the runner is the biggest in the world, and mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it's an uh, actual flow actual flow uh, 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 unit actual flow units. It's different from the, the Francis from Francis unit. Uh, so what's the difference? Uh, the the runner. Uh, oh, yes. This is a captain. It's a captain runner, and that is a Francis runner. Yeah. Oh. The the water uh, the water running into the runner they're different, right? You can disassemble it, right? Yeah. The, on, on that screen, the runner is just inside the oh. uh, uh, uh guide main, and th this one is is down. It's, oh. it's much uh, down. Right? How to disassemble this? up? can you show us? How to how to disassemble this generator? Disassemble? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, how to say? Uh, uh, generally, uh, first we'll uh, uh, assemble the uh, the embedded parts, yeah? and after that we'll it's a distributor, mm -hmm. and then I mean, yeah. I know this can this uh, screen can uh, can disassemble all the parts. No no no, it's it's just the. Uh, uh, I see. Oh, we're going to the bottom of the Gojoba Dam, Super yeah. Dam. So, uh, actually, when I was visiting that the factory, mm -hmm. you are producing another part of this uh, turbine, right? Yes. Uh, this is the runner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The runner is in in the factory. Which oh. You 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 use later, eh? Right? Okay, so. Uh, Typically, this is one of the generator unit in uh in the, in the project, right? Yes, yes. Oh. It's the it's a uh, hundred and seventy uh, megawatts a unit. So, uh, how to evaluate those figures right here? Um, what information you can tell from those uh, figures here? Uh, you can you can see the the water head here and the 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 RPM here and the power out here. Oh. Yes. So uh, if you have this kind of the system, you don't have to put so much uh, human power to monitor the whole process of this uh, dam. Is that right? Uh, yes, of course, and. Uh, uh, if the if something happens in the in the power plants, we can we can see it here. We can we can uh, tell what's what's wrong there, right? And we we will have a, a scheme of uh, how to how to deal with the problem. Oh, so that's very efficient. Yes. And uh, what we saw uh, that uh, there in the video and here in the mm -hmm. screen that all this part is underground, if I am understanding right, is that Accurate. Mm, this unit is in the dam. Oh. Uh, that unit is made in the dam. Oh, okay. Yeah. In the dam, you mean uh, uh, which part of the dam? Uh, yeah. uh, the, uh, th th this is the water level, and this is the dam. Yes. And uh, the unit. 
uh, in, in the lower parts of the game. Oh, yes. Uh, so the Gojoba is uh, is operating differently from earlier the, the video we yes, saw. Yes. It's by using the power when it's flowing out of the dam to generate electricity. Um, I would say maybe in, in the dam. Oh, uh, okay. So um, maybe you have a basic understanding of this. Uh, electric hydropower generators. So maybe next time we can move to the actual factory that can produce all those gigantic components. And here, I know this company has a really long history. Which year did uh, which year is the company was established? Uh, 1958. Yeah. Yeah, it's over 50 years. Yeah, it's 50 years. Yeah. Is this the first batch of the heavy manufacturing company in China? Mm, not in China, but in India, yeah. It's a country. Oh, okay. So here I saw a very gigantic status. Yes. No, it's a runner. It's, it's a runner of the okay. So I thought it was a statue, but mm, it yeah, is statue. actually a but it's actually an actual retired turbine. Yes, yes. It's a it's a runner, retired runner of uh, Gongzhi power station. Yeah. Uh, it's a retired uh, in uh, 2007. <laughs> 2007, right? And uh, it's produced uh, in the year uh, 1972. Yeah. So this entire factory is producing the components of this size. Let's go. And I also find some railway trials inside the company. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, in the past, uh, we uh, we had to use some uh, a train to uh, 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 transport the big uh, components. Mm. Yeah. So we have to use that. And now, maybe from the factory directly to the project C. Yes, uh, this is our uh, factory, uh, the plant, and uh, the, the the trail will go through the plant, and uh, to the the end of the plant, uh, and after that, we tra uh, transport it outside. Ah, oh, I see. So this entire factory, the buildings were. Or were still built in the sixties. Mm, or... Yes, but uh, it will be uh, I think <laughs> it's very industrial fashion. Yeah, yeah. It has the time. Uh, it has it their um, characteristic of that time. Yes, uh, and uh, after that, uh, what is uh, you know, Factory, the yes, but the factory stays the same, and the uh, electric, um, but the generator are evolving itself. Yes. Yes. Right. So I, we can see today it's slightly raining, and I believe this is the uh, coolest day in August. Yes. Is we we have suffered from a, a very severe heat wave. About in the August the, uh, the generation of the electric power capacity very limited. But in case we have rain right now, that the electricity might not be that uh, insecure. Yes, the good weather for the engineer that are focusing on the hydropower generation. Well, here, that is the entrance of the factory, but before that, we have to put on our cap. Let's go explore. And maybe here is the way, it is the time way to say goodbye to my guests. Mr. Song, but another Mr. Song, my guest is waiting for me. Here, right here. Hello, can you introduce yourself for us a little bit? Uh, so, first, good morning, today, and this is my company, Mr. Freaking. Good morning, 
valley, have machining, and also the machine. So this will help me go for a So let me count this. Three minutes. Okay, so let's have a look. So I saw there are some uh, volunteers standing outside because this is actually an exhibition hall of the conference on the energy uh, equipment. So every day, especially during this, uh, this period of time, many people will uh, that uh, they are joining that expo may be here to explore the whole factory. But this is the actual place that can produce the components, not uh, the actual expo value. So even here is the event for railway. Thank 
for the internet connection, also because of this factory is a real factory, so it's quite noisy right now. So excuse us if we have um, uh, if our sound is blurred by the noise. So you can just introduce her. Okay, I don't think I'll play
Hello, guys. Welcome back to our live streaming. And、uh, because of the there was too noisy and the factory, so we are、uh, now using the phone to、uh, continue our、uh, broadcasting. So I also I can see that there is a label on that、uh, runner of the turbine. So this is said it's from it's for the Chongqing、uh, power panel. This is for Chongqing Hanlong Pump Storage Project. Ah,、uh, okay. So this is、uh, used to、uh, pump the water or the or、uh, generate the water. Yeah. Uh, it uh when we do not use so much electricity, all the electricity consumption is very low. It pumps the water to the upper tanks, and、uh, if the uh electricity consumption goes uh high, and、uh, the water is just、uh, Uh, push the turbine to ge generate the electricity.、Mm -hmm. Can we touch it? Is、uh, that finished? Ah,、uh, not. It's not. Oh, finished. not finished yet. Yeah. Can we feel it?、Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. So, oh,、uh, is this what material is using to make this turbine? Uh, it's uh. Very huge. Stainless steel. It's a, a kind of stainless steel.、Mm -hmm. So I know that、uh, Doyang and the adjacent cities are very、uh, experienced in producing those、uh, materials, right? Yes. Uh, uh, we have a lot of、uh, subsidiary factories, uh, which uh, they supply those material or raw material. Component to us. Okay, let's move forward. Actually, this is my first time to visit the actual、uh, factory that huge, the heavy manufacturing. That's a gas It, turbine. Oh, what? That's a gas turbine stator frame. This.、Oh. Uh, the capacity of this. Uh, component is almost three、uh, hundred megawatts. Oh, I've also done some research, and I believe this is the spiral valve.、Uh, <laughs> this is a, a spherical valve、oh. for Fukang PSP、mm. Jingyang. As you can see here. Yes, it's all labeled. Is、yeah. this finished or?、Uh, not finished yet. Uh, it will be the first supercharger in Tianjin Mountain area.、Uh -huh. After it comes into operation, it will、uh, significantly improve the stability of power grid in northwest of China. Oh. So the water storage project for the storage of electricity also can be used in areas that is not very rich in、uh, water resources. Am yes. I right? Yes. Yes. A clean energy solution for those places that are not very easy to use the hydropower. But、uh, Xinjiang also has its own uh, uh, energy, uh, own clean energy resources. But why to use the hydropower to store them?、Uh, because we have the.、Uh, because we need to comply those. Uh, energy consumption and、uh, energy generation. I go closer to the requirements of the electric electricity need. Can, can we go closer to? Is this a? Wow. Let's have a look. Uh, is a twenty-two meter vertical. It is the one of the only two in the world, and the component on this machine is、uh -huh. a support cover. The Zofa project. The Zofa project has a world largest container type、uh, runner in the world、uh, since 1974. Oh, I believe last time when I was here that the platform was on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> It has to lift up. Oh, uh, to. To forge the whole thing,、uh, in one piece or for for milling, for milling、uh -huh. the slots, 
you can see right okay we cannot see oh. right? in the in the opponent. So these are are these those materials that yeah. are chopped off? Very huge machine bag. So, uh, how many years are this uh, machine tool is using? Uh, you mean this machine? Yes. Uh, it should be almost uh, 15 years. 50 years. Like 15, 15. Oh, 15 years. Yeah, 15. Actually, I was told that some of the machine tools in uh, your company that is, uh, it can be used for decades. Uh, yes. Uh. Uh, such a uh, person, not in this workshop, <laughs> in other workshops, we can see some machines have been working for over. Uh, for over 20 years. Wow. So what's this? Which uh, part of? This is the control ring, part of the hydropower unit. Oh, can we find uh, which part was that? Uh, was this component when we saw in the animation? Uh, which part is the? Uh, uh, which part is the lower or the upper part? The, the top really huge. I'll give you a whole picture of that. Oh, okay. This is the lower part. Oh, oh, part oh this, this is the foundation. To, yeah, it, it belongs to the part of the uh, hydro turbine. Oh, so the turbine will be uh, put in uh, yes, the top on, of it. Down, down, down this, down this oh, under this. Down oh, down. Okay. So I found I found also a railway. Inside the factory. There is also a railway. Yes, this railway is just a, at the same the railway we just took. Mm. It's connected to the Baocheng Railway. Oh. And this is the start point of the heavy cargo transportation highway. It is specially uh, constructed uh, for heavy cargo transportation. The supporting ability of this highway is over 1,000 tons. Wow, you mean here it can support over 1,000 tons? Yes, of... yes. And, and also that one, the highway outside of the workshop. Can we see that right here? Can we see that from here? Okay. And there is a little point. Oh, there is a landmark. The star point of this highway. The start point, starting point of the Chinese heavy industry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we always say uh, those world famous energy equipment start their new life just from this point. Okay. Let's go. So let's go forward. We can see orange one. That's from the low bus. Oh, um, I saw have them, have them on that. It is the world's largest captain type from the, since 1974. It's also the first batch of uh, water reservoir and uh, uh, electric uh, hydropower generator in China. Yes, and uh, uh, our company DFBM won the special prize of National Science and Technology Process by this machine, by this equipment. Oh, this is also for the water storage. Uh, this is, yeah, this is for full pump pump storage project. Pump storage project. Very huge, gigantic. We are approaching to the component of Gezhou Ba. The diameter of this rounder is uh. 70 meters. Oh. And this rounder is going uh, uh, 
So this is the uh, the uh, runner we saw in the animation, right? Yeah. This, this part. Yes. And this runner is going to take over the old one, which has been working for the last 40 years. Since it was established? Yeah. Why are you changing that? Uh, because it's going to, to retire from its lifetime. Oh. But it's functioning uh, normally, but it's the, uh, to a, re a retired time, so you have to change the place. Yeah. The normal lifetime of the runner is almost 40 years. Ah. So it's okay. going to take over the old one. Oh, so that's the reason why you are using uh, the you you are having the uh, simultaneously uh, you, you are uh, watching uh, what the Godoba runner is performing in that uh, smart hall, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, I want to go closer to feel how big it is. Now we are going under this huge runner. Here is the label. It's the number two generator from, it says the gener yeah. number two generator from Kojoba and it's still under processing. Wow. Very magnificent. And, and this was the upside down. Yes. And, yeah. Oh, okay, the water, uh, when it's uh, actually be put in the generator, it will be uh, the the top part will be put in uh, put in the bottom. <laughs> Why the top of that is orange? <laughs> Why is that? It's just painting. Oh. It's painting because. Uh, uh, this part, they are all stainless steel, and that that part is uh, the corn is uh, carbon steel, so it will be uh, paint, painted to make to... a different. Oh, sure. So let's okay, let's go forward. Uh, last time, uh, last time when I uh, was visiting this factory, I saw uh, the I saw some uh, uh, a manager from Tanzania State Electricity, yeah. and he is here to uh, evaluate the order he made for yeah. his country. Yeah. Can we find the component uh, you're producing uh, for that one? Oh, which that one? one. That's that one, uh, we yeah. can go back to that. This component is a this component is a uh, part of the butterfly wall. Oh. For Julius Navier hydropower project in Tanzania. So that's uh, for, I know that the uh, Julius Navier project is built on the largest river of Tanzania. Yeah. So it is also called uh, the Three Gorges project in Tanzania. And the, all the nine units are ordered from this company. So, yes, we can see here is a label. It's for Tanzania State Electricity Company. It's a valve from the first generator in the Juliet Diarrhea project. So huge. Is this finished or still on the process? Yes, this component is already finished. Oh. So you will use the railway and the comp in the inside the factory to uh, to transport those huge equipments to Tanzania. Yeah, and we will oh. assemble all the components at the site. Well, good luck to you. Actually, those uh, that was the manager of the Tanzania State Company he told me he was very satisfied of what he saw. He told me that he was very satisfied of what he saw yeah. because uh, the components are in really good 
quality, and they have already received some of the components. And he uh, he's expecting that the hydropower project can help his country to uh, for the industrialization process. Yes, it's very important. When this uh, hydropower project comes into operation, it will significantly reduce its electricity costs. Electricity cost in Tanzania, mm -hmm. and also accelerate the local economy and social development. And also, I noticed that in these companies, there are lots of robots is working. Yeah, that's okay. uh, because we, we are going to see the uh, uh, wedding robots fleet area just right oh. there. I I thought there was a uh, I thought there was a demonstration of the uh, simultaneous uh, uh, assembling of the project, okay. right? Yeah. I want yeah. to, I want you to introduce this twin platform that is designed especially for the assembly work. This twin, this twin capsule of a difference between two methods. Mm -hmm. Our left will choose the traditional yes. twin assembly method. Oh. Uh, it is that to assemble all those components we saw before together. Uh, just part of the hydro. Ah. The right side is yes. what we are doing right now. Mm -hmm. The digital free assembly. It, uh, uh, the cost of the manpower reduces 80% and the efficiency uh, increases to 400%. That's so a huge difference. So how do you use this uh, twin, uh, digital twin platform of those components to assemble uh, this huge, the whole generator? Is that uh, accurate enough? Yes. Uh, uh, in old days, we, we use uh, only one-to-one -one control board, the traditional one-to-one -one control board between two machines. But right now, after the digital modernization, oh, the robot is testing the yeah, size. This part. is a 3D dimension measure. Yeah. And right He's now, he's testing or yeah. is measuring already. Yeah, just we can see over there. There oh, is a we can see that robot. The 3D measurement right now. Also, this is the. Assembly center. Oh, this is the robot that is yeah. doing. It is under the 3D manual. Oh. So by doing this, is that robot is actually uh, testing assembly or it is already assembled by uh, testing those figures. Testing those figures, whether these figures uh, meet with the design. Oh, this is also for a pump storage component. Let's explore something else. Uh, I saw this is a very huge factory, but not so many workers around here anymore. Yeah, we <laughs> try to use uh, those uh, machining robots instead mm. of our welding workers. Mm. And that uh, <laughs> that improves the efficiency. Okay, so this is also a runner for Tanzania. I saw this is the runner for Juliet Nyeria number two generator yes. for Tanzania. So this is all a wild by robots or human power. This is wild by robots. Wow, you can see that it's very delicate. 
so the whole part is uh, wilding, or only this connection part is uh, wild, wild. This part of the wilding, we try oh. to make them together. Oh, I see. So uh, before you can use the uh, robot wilding, is do we, the people need to go inside this place to wild? Yeah, but for the people wow. have to go inside. I want to show you that this is actually not a uh, not uh, adult size. Yeah. For so it's very difficult. Can you stand here for a while? I want to okay. show the audience that this is not for uh, adults to climb inside this component to wild, but using robot is much more easier, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, here is the wilding robot. It's working. Is that a wilding robot? Yeah. We have 10 sets of wilding robots in the area. So the workers just to... Uh, to modify the wilding. <laughs> yes. In case the robot is late. Oh, this is also for Tanzania. I have a closer look. Can you see how the wilding robot? This company is so big. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sure. Uh, and the raw material comes from uh, which part of the this huge? Machine tool. The widening material. Where is the widening material storage? The material utilization uh, rises from 14% to 85% after we're using the welding robots. Well, this is also a very cool thing I haven't seen in the animator. Yeah, that's an oh, impossible. Sorry, I touched uh, it. That's fine, that's fine. As an impost, oh, oh, impost oh, kind of yeah, unit. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you put some oil on the surface. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is that the uh, the finish uh, the part of this yeah. runner. That's yeah. a pair of it. Oh, this is this the widening uh, procedure? Uh, yeah, is how they come over the uh, and oh. and the At the beginning, it's like this. It's so the raw material for the for the. Okay, then it's. All, all this. Yeah. It's not a natural component that is widening. Only the uh, conjunction it, conjunction part is the whole blade is by widening. Yeah, by widening. Um, we have a raw material and widening robots need some machine out of this, this blade. We have a raw material and the uh, welding robots need some machine out just on this blade. Oh, then the next step is uh, making those uh, uh, just the mini machine, just the new somehow go the slot between the blades. Oh, the next step is adding this golden part. Yeah. So, Why you design this kind of the runner? Uh, it depends on the water condition oh. uh, of the project. So. You can see different types of the uh, hydrocarbons. Uh, oh, that is very cool thing. Can we go closer to that uh, that valve? It's forging. Uh, no, it's uh, widening right now. Be careful with your eyes. The robot is doing all its work. Why this robot is not supervised? 
Sorry. Why this robot is not supervised by human? <laughs> um, it uh depends depends on what uh, which process uh is doing right now. And what the robot is doing right now? Uh, uh, he's doing what? Uh, he's doing what? 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 Closer look. Oh, this is the. Oh, this is the winding tile. It's it's still burning or. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's my first time. Sorry. So, nowadays, worker only need to control the robots to do all the winding work. Right. So now this worker only need to control the tablet. Yes. yes. So that the uh, robot can do all his work. Yes. Uh, the, the worker just putting those figures in the tablet. Can we go closer? Is that confidential? Is that confidential? Oh, sorry. Oh, this is the uh, this is the forging. By the end of the twenty twenty five, more than half of welding process in this workshop will be done by the welding robots. Well, completely by the welding robots, not only not human. And all these are all robots are working uh, smoothly by themselves. And here is, is this a butterfly valve? Oh, this is a very huge component of the water generator that uh, you have to work inside it. Have a closer look. Uh, Only it's very, it's a bit oh, okay. I can feel the heat right here. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, making that gigantic component, you need to forging from inside. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, when you have looked at the, those giant the machines, you may feel uh, it has a complex structure mm. inside. Can, can I feel that? Oh, it's warm. Yeah. Because it's... It's under welding. Oh. It's huge enough for people to come in to it. Uh, are you... Uh, is your company responsible for design those components for uh, Tanzania? Yes. Wow. We design... Mm manufacturing assembly we do all the process of the, this project so uh, why the different uh, reservoirs and projects needs different uh, technique and it needs different uh, design uh, it's uh, it depends on the uh, water condition and the uh, the customers need so we our design our products is try to meet with the requirements of the employers to make the full use of the of their yes, hydropower yes. here we is pro also a railway is that a railway or uh, that's not a railway oh. that's for just this one this what's this huge machine for uh, it's uh, used for the rehearsal. Currently, is it uh, is it working or not? 
uh, it's not working right now. <laughs> Is this uh, this factory was also built when the company was built? Uh, no, mm. this factory, uh, this workshop was mm. uh, constructed after ten, uh, two thousand years. Mm. Which we are looking at in that area. Uh, this is also the wedding area, but different uh, uh, from that that area. Uh, this uh, area used uh, uh, most of the welding processing are being uh, by the, the manpower. Oh, well, why is that? Uh, uh, because some special, mm. some special welding process is still need to be done oh. by the by 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 those uh, workers. Oh, so maybe because some of those uh, robots is not accurate or not small, delicate enough to do all the wiring works. Um, is this one of the process? Some of the part needs to be wired by human and the other parts need to be wired by the robot. Yes, yes. Oh, I see. So we can uh, have a look at how the human wiring is working. This is also a valve of the... Of, yeah. uh, for, of Tanzania. For, yeah, for Julius Navia. Look, after this process, will it be transferred to uh, the robot welding uh, section? Yes. Oh. Is the two valve the same? Earlier? The, the same. Oh, okay. Let's explore how the... Uh, how the... A uh, valve is widening by heat by personnel. Here, very huge. Why the, the there is a wire that is burning to outside. keep the to keep the temperature away from this component. Mm. So it's easier for widening. Yeah. It's heating that. Mm -hmm. Very clever. And if we go closer. Okay. You can see here is also someone is widening inside. Oh, well, yes. Also someone is widening. I'm sorry, the valve so huge. So can you describe the working scenario when this factory is not that industrialized? Um. It's not that, uh, uh, not those robots is not putting into full capacity. What's the scenario at that time? Uh, you will see uh, much more modern life, more or modern workshop. Oh. You maybe in the future, maybe I think maybe five or ten years, maybe you may see uh, only a few workers just in this workshop. You can see, and then most of the processing, the machine processing, will be done by those robots. Oh, but. Uh, but what's before, uh, such as, for example, 20 uh, years ago, what's the scenery uh, in this factory? You, you may find there are more than 100 or 200 workers just in this, this workshop. Can we step up? Uh, no, it's not, 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 I think it's not. <laughs> oh. Right. Yes, it continues. Uh, what's be. like, it's, what's like, what's this place is like, it'll... 20 years ago. 20 years ago, you may find, uh, I think you may find uh, 100, 200 workers just in this workshop. Mm. Uh, when you come into this workshop, you say, oh, there are so many people here. Yes. 
but now maybe less than ten workers. Um, maybe ten workers, but most of the workers they just uh, oper uh, operated in the control room. Mm -hmm. Yes, we saw them. And the welding workers, they have to be very experienced. Yes, yes. So that they can do the welding work that uh, the robot cannot do. Yes, that's very important. So, uh, what kind of uh, other clean energy equipment you can produce in this factory? Uh, I uh, we already saw the nuclear power, the hydropower. We have some low emission thermal power generator that mm. is another workshop. Uh, but for this workshop, it's mainly used for the hydropower and nuclear power generation you need assembly and machine. Mm. And uh, I know uh, Dongfang Electric Corporation can also produce other uh, generators, other equipments for different usage of the clean energy, such as the uh, photovoltaic and also uh, the wind power. Yes, uh, but not in this workshop, ah. so we cannot see this. In yeah, other workshop. Yeah, yeah. Are they? Oh, are they uh, using the same technology of making the hydropower uh, generator? No, uh, for different types of uh, power generation units, they use always use different uh, uh, technology, and also some different uh, machining equipment. <laughs> But, oh, but you have your advantage in making the hydropower uh, generators. So you might have also have some advantages making other kinds of huge equipment. Yes. Am I understanding right? Yes. Why is that? Why because is of that? the equipment of making those equipment. Because the machine. We Pay much attention, mm. pay a lot of work on the research and development mm. of the technology. And we are keeping doing this in the last uh, uh, 60 years. Oh. Actually, uh, last time when I was here, I also saw the very uh, modern factory just beside this uh this workshop, it's basically human-less, and all the works are done by the robots. Yes, uh, you may find that it's quite different from last time you in this workshop or mm -hmm. last year in this workshop. Mm, every we, year you're evolving. Yeah, we we have more and more digital modernized. Uh, uh, Upgrade in this workshop. See, all the workers are in the uh, control Absolutely. center. Yes. So, what's your future plans? What's the next step? Uh, we try to apply more digital modernization methods in our design, manufacturing, and also uh, an assembly process. Mm -hmm. Uh, as a result of all, of all those uh, upgrades, we are trying to provide the best uh, products to our customers. That's the aim of our company. How many countries are you provide? How many countries are exporting the clean energy equipment? Uh, to? We have already exported those uh, energy equipment to over forty countries in the world. Including uh, Pakistan, Vietnam, Russia, Turkey, Tanzania, Ethiopia. They are trusting uh, your technology in the hydropower. Yes. Because you're very experienced. Because we have manufactured, we have produced the world's largest hydropower unit, we have produced the world's largest 
you could have called your later. Hmm. But how this is the meaning of the life of the a part of the nation human to all customers. And also, if they have uh, if they have other clean energy resources such as the wind, yes. the solar system, you can also design and uh, design the most suitable solution for them to use uh, the all energy in the most effective way. Yes, yes, because all of these uh, energy equipment are designed, manufactured, and assembled by ourselves. So we have this ability uh, to meet with any requirement of our employers or customers. Mm -hmm. So here we are back at the uh, runner of the biggest uh -huh. Gojoba dam in the hydropower project. And I believe you've been here thousands of times. And what's your feeling uh, every time when you're visiting the actual factory of making uh, that huge, gigantic generators? The feeling is different. And every time I just jump into this workshop, uh, you may find out, wow, it's different again. And it should be more and more uh, modern. This workshop we are more uh, it becomes one more modern. You may find more robots, more control rooms, mm -hmm. and uh, also more clean in the network shop. And uh, why we use this digital modernization to equip our workshop is because it is more environmental friendly. That's why we are doing. This uh, upgrade for our workshop. Yes. Also, uh, actually, this is my second time to visit this factory. Last time was just the day before yesterday. And for me, this factory is very fascinating. It's very shocking because we can step the hot Because Sometimes we're thinking of that the electricity is just a click of a button. It's we're taking that for granted because it's very easy for us to access. But actually, the the electricity is produced by all those gigantic gigantic components like this. But this is only a part of it. The total Kanova has many more units of the generator, and also um. I've found that many uh, companies they are participating in the uh, World Conference on the Clean Energy Equipment, they are producing many different solutions for the entire clean energy uh, processing. For example, they are uh, providing different ways of the energy storage, such as the free, uh, flywheel storage and the condensed air storage of the energy. And that is a very important step for the entire human species to work uh, to step uh, to go further to the carbon peak and the carbon neutrality mission. And this is not only for one country; it's for the entire human species. And also, at that um, at the conference, we saw the ambassador from uh, Sri Lanka, the ambassador from of Sri Lanka to China. And he told me that his country is currently is suffering from a currency crisis and also an energy crisis because they are using the fossil fuels and uh, the gases, natural gases, to produce energy in his country. And after visiting the Clean Energy Conference, the Expo, he find that he think that this is the right time for a countries like. Sri Lanka to develop their own uh, clean energy system because Sri Lanka is in the equator, so that is full of uh, solar solar energy. There's more than 300 days of sunshine in Sri Lanka, and also it's a very uh, promised with the wind power. And using those uh, clean energy can uh, can uh, sustain can relieve their energy crisis and also secure their energy security, energy safety, of course, 
if they have the free solar, they don't have to worry about the the currency crisis or the uh, energy crisis brought by the uh, very difficult situation of the world. And um, from my perspective, after this visit, visit of the factory, uh, I think we should be we should pay more attention to uh, the electricity generation systems and also. Um, we have to protect our own environment by doing our, by giving our uh, effort to a sustainable energy. And also, uh, in this period of time, that uh, just earlier, a few a few weeks ago, and the Sichuan is suffering from a very severe heat wave, and that makes the generation of the hydropower electricity in Sichuan province is lowered by about 50% because the drought and heat has cut about 50% of the water volume of the main river inside the region. So at that time, the factories, the huge factories are suspended, especially those industry, industry companies, the uh, chemical fertilizer companies are suspending to ensure the domestic use and the residential work of power load. And that might be uh that might might have that it must have some inspiration of our generation that we should provide more stable clean energy for our society and for the whole world and this company this factory is doing what they can to provide those sustainable energy and also the store uh, the energy storage solutions for the world and also, China is the largest hydropower production. Uh, hydropower uh, is the uh, largest country that has the largest uh, hydropower energy, also the capacity. And Sichuan is in the upper reaches of Yangtze River, the largest one of the largest river in the world. So it uh, it has it produced the most of the electricity, uh, hydroelectricity in China, right? So it is the responsibility of Sichuan province and also the very uh, uh, famous companies like uh, Dongfang Electric Com uh, Corporation, Electric, uh, Dongfang Electric Machinery to continue to bring those experience of making the huge generators to the entire world. And I think maybe this is the end of today's live streaming and that the, the uh, conference is still underway. And Maybe we can uh, bring you some of the latest. Uh, we can bring you some uh, latest information later, and you can also find some information about the uh, energy, uh, clean energy equipment, on uh, the website of that conference. And I think maybe this is the end of our uh, live streaming today, and I'm the reporter Guo Tianqi. This is my guest. This is so, and hope we can see you really soon. Bye bye. We are in Deyang, Sichuan Province. Bye bye.